Hello and welcome to Lausitz, which you can probably hear there is some engine noise and tire squealing. Yes, I'm at the Lausitz Speedway and today I will be... Yep, definitely. And uh, today I'll be reviewing the facelifted Mercedes A-Class, that and the A45 AMG as well. So there will be some track time. Mercedes-Benz A-Class W176 debuted in Geneva back in 2012. The car was a big step for Mercedes as far as conquering new young buyers was concerned. The 2015 facelift gives the compact Merc a bit sharper lines in the front, it now gets LED headlights, new lamps in the back, and of course, new paint colors. But there is more, Mercedes also introduced… come on, do you really give a toss when there's a track around and some A45 AMGs are doing hot laps? I thought as much. Listen to that exhaust. The brakes are the brakes are good, but the car I feel that even in the sports mode and even with the suspension set to stiff, it's a bit too soft, but then it's a very good car out there on the road. Braking from about 200 kilometers per hour. Double apex corner. Okay, holding it nicely, using all the width into the next corner. And braking again for another hairpin. I think this car is much more fun on the road than it is on a track, or maybe I simply don't know how to drive it on a track. Now I can use my speed to carry me through the long straight. We're going here up to about 200 kilometers per hour and 210. Hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. And the car is dancing a bit. Maybe I was on the brakes a bit harder than I wanted to, but there's a guy in front of me also braking. I think I could spend a day driving like this. 381 horsepower, that's what this car has now. It's not something you really need on the road. Into the next corner, I... Okay, I actually got the apex there. <laughs> now that's good. And now that I'm uh, doing the cool down lap, I have time to uh, switch back into sport from race mode and I can feel that the car is a bit softer. I, I finally... I finally realized there are a couple of dials here, sport dials, and uh, I never even once looked at them because there was simply no time. I was focusing on uh, hitting the apexes, uh, which I probably failed miserably. Okay, I'm no racing driver, so after three laps on a track, I can say fast and good brakes. I also think the race mode suspension is a bit too soft for the track, but A45 AMG is going to be used mainly on the road. Perhaps someone will go against all advice and activate the race mode on a public road and the suspension will be plenty stiff, working overtime. Speaking of which, the refreshed A-Class can now be equipped with adaptive dampers. The system works with dynamic select switch, which now lets you program driving modes. And there's a bunch of other new functions which, unlike the AMG's 381 horsepower, you may actually use in everyday life, like Apple CarPlay or MirrorLink. I won't bore you with what the A-Class back seats and boot look like. Nothing's changed over there, so watch my earlier review of the A-Class when it came out. But how's the facelifted A-Class on the road? This car is very important for Mercedes-Benz. It's been a very popular car and it's also been a car that helped them win a lot of new clients. Two-thirds of the new A-Class buyers are actually new to Mercedes-Benz. These are people that Mercedes stole from other premium car manufacturers. With this facelifted model, they don't want to change too much, but they want to make it a bit more up-to-date, let's say. When I'm talking about changes, visible changes, it's quite difficult to actually see any of them because, uh, well, okay, there are new paint jobs. Unfortunately, I'm driving a gray one right now, but there is this wonderful green, very fun looking car. Unfortunately, everybody wants to pick the green, so I'm left with the uh, gray one. 
other changes, probably some new alloy wheel shapes and things like that. You can now get optional LED headlights uh, in uh, some of the models. Uh, you can also get this optional 8-inch display. Other changes are to do with the gearbox. I'm now in eco mode and uh, the gears, they change instantly which is quite new to Mercedes. I used to call this uh, gear shifter the 7G Tronic. I used to call it Geriatronic because it's so slow and uh, now it responds instantly. So they've changed something here, well, mainly programming, and uh, it's a really good gearbox now. All they have to do is just change some software. <laughs> Another thing that appears in Mercedes uh, A-Class after the facelift is something called Dynamic Select. Basically, depending on what you want, you can choose between uh, Comfort, Sport, Individual or Eco Mode. And this changes your uh, engine response, uh, your damping, your steering, the way that air conditioning works. All this you can change with Dynamic Select. The sound is not particularly inspiring, but this is uh, a normal car. This is uh, not the sort of sport AMG line version. With the A-Class, uh, Mercedes also lowered the base model price, 23,000 something euros. And this base price is there mainly to look better in the ads because Mercedes say that people usually get this car with uh, some options on it. But if you see an advertisement for the facelifted Mercedes A-Class, it's gonna say, let me check. 23,746 euro and 45 cents. That's exactly what it's going to say for the base Mercedes A-Class. There's one more thing I find annoying in the A-Class and that goes for the pre-facelift and the facelifted version and that's where the dynamic select button is located. Previously it was uh, just a mode selector button. It was a comfort manual and uh, eco. So it's located down here next to the hazard lights and first of all this isn't the best place to put the hazard lights in because if there is an emergency situation on the road I have to take my eyes off the road and look for the button. The same goes for uh, dynamic select because I suppose that if you want to use it, if you want to switch from comfort to sport, you're usually on a twisty bit of road and you think okay now it's time to put it into sport. So you look for the button and there goes your turn and you know what I'm on about. So anyway, let's go from comfort to sport. I pressed it so many times and now I'm in sport and let me have some fun. The 23,746 euro and 45 cents base sticker price that's in Germany is for the A160 with a 102 horsepower petrol engine. The frugal choice is the A180D Blue Efficiency, which allegedly uses just 3.6 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers in the combined cycle. During this first drive, besides the A45 AMG on track, I had the A250 with automatic gearbox and a 6-speed manual A200 156 horsepower. The latter felt a bit underpowered with three people and luggage on board, but the manual shifter in Mercedes is great. You can also have the A-Class in a limited motorsport edition with Mercedes AMG Petronas F1 team livery. This paint job will set you back around 5 grand and it is available on A200 models and above except A45 AMG. And how do you like the facelifted Mercedes-Benz A-Class? Perhaps you own the pre-facelift version. What's your experience with that car? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. New episodes every Friday. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.